Hey everyone, and welcome to the fourth Gateway Game Project monthly update. Today we have some cool stuff to show you in regards to Gateway's tower model and a small update to our tank farm model. But not only that, make sure to stick around because at the end of the video, we're going to be doing something a bit different that you might enjoy, because we're doing a tower tour. So without further talking, let's get started. Hey everyone, Kyan here, and thanks for watching this video. To start off, at the end of August, Lewis has been working on the tower's top sections, sections 8 and 9, which houses the equipment that drives the Mechazilla carrot system. Here, you can see that Lewis finished the majority of the structural part of the 9th segment of the tower. In the second viewport screenshot, you can see that Lewis started to work on the pulley system. And with that, here's how the finished tower model looks like. Here you can see this part as well. We're not exactly sure on what this could be, but we believe that it's a weather station, but more on that later when we get to the tower to a part. You can also see some progress with the chopstick carriage system. This is the part that lifts the chopsticks up and down to lift, stack, and catch super heavy boosters and eventually ships as well. This is just a bit of progress, so make sure to subscribe for the next update video next month. To finish off here, you can see that Lewis made this epic render showcasing the tower in a more cinematic way. Now, I know we keep mentioning this in every single video, but we feel that this is important to give out. We are not trying to make fully detailed models. This model is not full of detail, partially because we can't afford that at the cost of more polygons that the game needs to handle. So this is the part where we need to start cutting corners a bit. But in my opinion, really from an up close view, it still looks really nice. Here's another cool perspective showing the tower from a top angle. Also recently, Lewis started to put together the models with the updated terrain model. We already talked about in the last update video, but the original terrain model was going to be replaced anyways, as it was just for layout and to preview how things would look. This new terrain uses a Google satellite map of Starbase as its texture, which looks way more realistic as it's just a picture of real life from an up, you know, a satellite view. Also recently when finishing the script, I repositioned some of the models and also modeled some extra stuff to add to the tank farm. This includes the new tanks, the break room, the server room, the vaporizers, the storage building, the walls, and some other stuff like that. Also, I redid some of the piping work to be a bit more accurate to the real thing. I'm currently in the process of texturing all the new models, but I'll probably even retexture the existing tank farm models with better textures. Keep in mind that of course this is still in a working progress stage. So now that we finish with the update part of this video, let's get on to the fun stuff. And since we have our tower model done, let's take a closer look at it. Let's get to the tower tour. So let's start from the bottom and work our way up. At the bottom, we have the base. In real life, the base is the strongest part of the tower as it supports the load of all segments above it, and it also has to survive the blast of all 33 Raptor engines upon launch. At the back of the base, it features the housing for the drawworks that move the chopsticks up and down the tower. There are some stairs at the back of the base in case the lift stops working. You'll soon be able to walk these stairs in-game, but more on that later. Moving on to segment 1. If you look at this segment from the OLM side, you'll notice that there are these black panels. These panels act like a protection for the bottom of the tower for when Starship launches. The reason why these are only on the OLM side of the tower, for now, is because the most energetic event of a Starship launch happens on the pad in a few seconds after the liftoff. Next segment is segment 2. This is very similar to segments 3 and 4, so we'll ignore those for now. These segments bring the pipe, but basically these bring these nuts. Yo! <laughs> These segments bring pipes to the SQD arm, which fuels the Starship upper stage, aka the ship. And speaking of SQD arm, that's on segment 5. Currently, the SQD, aka the ship quick disconnect, isn't modeled, but here you can see how the pipes go to where the SQD would be. There are also floors where the workers can access the arm for repairs and maintenance work. The final sections of the tower, sections 8 and 9, are arguably the most complex tower segment. These have the pulleys that direct the wires from the drawers to the chopsticks, as you can see here. They also have multiple floors and stairs to connect them all. And finally, on the very top of the tower, there is to what is believed to be a weather station and a lightning rod. I think. I'm not sure. Hey, by the way, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Okay. Back to the video. As you can see, this tower is very complex, with all the parts to stack, fuel, and eventually catch Starship vehicles. 
And oh, by the way, so we don't forget to mention this, we're not talking about the Megazilla Chopsticks system thingy because today we're only doing a tower tour. But basically, these are the arms that can stack and catch Starship vehicles. And oh, by the way, these models are currently a work in progress and are not finished yet. As if I didn't mention that over the course of this video at least 1 million times already. So that's it for today's month. Today's month? What? So that's it for this month. A bit of a different video, as in the sense of adding the tower tour part, or unless this video will just be a boring, just normal random update with just some different things to talk about and being boring. So yeah, let me know if you liked it. And as always, if you want to keep updated with Gateway's development, make sure to follow us on Twitter or X or whatever. Also leave a like and consider subscribing to Gateway's official YouTube channel so YouTube can do its YouTube thing of spreading the algorithm and whatever. Anyways guys, that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed this video and as always, see you next month and have a nice day.